Hey guys, so today I want to talk about having those difficult conversations with your kiddo long before their senior year in high school. I, so many times I get phone calls, usually in the springtime of the student senior year with parents that are overwhelmed because of the financial aid award letters that they received and um, the gap that is left after the financial aid award is applied, applied to the cost of the college and trying to figure out how they're actually going to pay for it. So it was interesting last night, we were sitting at the dinner table with my 15 year old daughter. She's a sophomore in high school and um, we starting starting to have a few more conversations recently about college and what she wants to do. Of course, this is something I've been talking about for a long time, but she's starting to express more of an interest in it. So, you know, before she didn't really want to go far from home. We live on the East Coast. Then she started thinking maybe she was going to go to California. But lately she kind of has her eyes set on going to college in Hawaii because it just looks so beautiful there. And who the heck wouldn't want to go to Hawaii to live, right? Let alone go to college. So I start asking her more questions about this, you know, what college is it, where, and she pulls it up and she shows me, and she's already done the research. It's about $50,000 a year. And she even went to their financial aid website and used their calculator based on family income. So she asked me a few questions about that. Her dad and I are divorced, so we can kind of pick and choose whose income to use. And um, I had her put her dad's income in. And, and based on what she put in, they came back saying she only have to pay only have to pay about just under twenty thousand dollars a year for her to go there. She's like, so that's not bad, mom. Almost twenty thousand dollars a year. I said twenty thousand dollars a year so that you can go to college in Hawaii. I said, do the math on four years of that. So that means if you get a financial aid award letter, like they say, and we have to pay twenty thousand dollars a year, by the time you get out, we will have. Uh, a debt of $80,000 because, you know, while I have money set aside for her to go to college and things like that, I certainly, I don't have $100,000 sitting aside and I'm not going to put myself into significant debt so that my daughter can go to Hawaii and go to college. So it was really interesting, you know, she started asking all sorts of questions about how financial aid works and well, how can she make it, you know, so that she can go to this college, which was a perfect segue for me to lead into as a family, you know, what we're thinking we're going to contribute when that time comes, what we feel is reasonable, what she can do now to um, get the best financial aid package. We talked a lot about outside scholarships we i started showing her like different scholarship sites and where she could look and i told her that i already have a plan in place when she's a junior and senior in high school i'm going to be helping her search for plenty of outside scholarships and she's going to start start applying for them so that hopefully she has some money under her belt with these outside scholarships so if she wants to go to college in hawaii and there's a twenty thousand dollar gap between what she's getting awarded in financial aid and um what the college costs, then she's going to have some scholarships to help cover some of that gap. And then we can also help, you know, pay some and, and chip in too. So it was really interesting. So, so then she said, well, scholarships are all based on grades and I'm a, you know, I'm a decent student, but I'm not, you know, the top of my class. So then we talked about all the different types of scholarships that are out there. There are a ton, not just based on merit. There's non-merit based there's scholarships for what degree program you're studying, where you're going to school, what your interests and abilities are. My daughter's an equestrian. She owns a horse and rides a horse. She, she doesn't play school sports, so we talked about that. Well, there's no sports for horseback riding, so we looked up and found a bunch of scholarships for students who are interested in, in equestrian or who ride horses. And it was really interesting to kind of have that conversation with her because I think kids oftentimes, especially this generation with the way that it is, they have this sense of entitlement. like you know, my parents paying $20,000 a year for me to go to this college really isn't a big deal. Well, parents, it's our job to let them know it is a big deal. And if you're someone who has a big bank account and lots of money sitting there and you don't care where your child goes, that those aren't the parents I'm really talking to. I'm talking to middle class America, which is the majority of people that I work with. Uh, it's where I fall, you know, and it's just that you have to have these conversations early and you have to help your kids understand that there are things they can do to be able to go to the colleges that they want to go. And one of those things is they can start searching and applying for scholarships 
while they're in high school. They can, especially their junior year and senior year. But don't wait for those financial aid award letters to come out because I, I think so many families just aren't aware of how the financial aid process works and they kind of bank on getting enough money for their kids to go to these colleges that in March of the senior year when they come out, they're scrambling and they're trying to figure out how they're gonna go and their kids have their hearts set on the college you know, this one particular college that happens to be the one that offered the worst financial aid package. So then parents are taking money out of their retirement. They're taking parent plus loans out. They're taking equity out of their homes. And they're, they're spending 15, 20, $30,000 a year so that their kids can go to that college. So I just, I just wanted to talk about setting the stage early, having the difficult conversations. Now, if you have a student that's in high school, ninth grade, 10th grade is ideal begin having those conversations and, and teaching them about what they can do, talking to them about scholarships and things like that. So it was great. It was a good conversation to have. I'm glad that it came up now. It really helped open her eyes to a lot of things, got her thinking about scholarships and how she can kind of help, you know, ensure that she can go to the college that she, she really wants to do, which of course also led into the conversation about how she has to do well throughout the rest of her high school year to get some good uh, career, to get some good merit-based scholarships. So anyways, uh, just don't wait, have the conversations early. If you have a senior in high school now and you haven't begun receiving those financial aid award letters, start talking to them now before they come out and um, letting them know what you can and can't afford as a family and, and just putting it out there instead of waiting to get the award letters. And remember, it's scholarship season. January through April is the busiest deadline season of the year. So you can be out there applying for scholarships right now, whether you have a junior in high school, senior in high school, or current college student, you can be searching for outside scholarships on a consistent basis every single week, which is going to help fill that gap um, when the financial aid award letters come back. And I offer one-on-one -on -one sessions. You can purchase my webinar for $35 a month, and you can also enroll, I mean, not a month, sorry, $35. And you can also enroll in my financial aid academy for $15 dollars a month where I'm regularly uploading scholarship resources in addition to a bunch of other resources for families um, regarding you know the financial aid process so hope that helps thanks for tuning in guys take care